Another story is unfolding over in the city of New York, home to some of the world's most stylish and sophisticated cats. Ikea, true to her name, is a fan of sleek design and lives in a one-bedroom apartment furnished with flair. These days, Ikea has more than style on her mind. She's got a litter of nine-day-old kittens who sport the unique curled ears of their breed, the American Curl. These kittens were actually born with straight ears, but during their first week of life, their ears slowly curled back like rose petals. This trait comes from a genetic mutation that appeared in the 80s and is now a breed standard. Because it's such a new breed, there are only a few thousand American curls worldwide. Ikea's four kittens have just opened their eyes. Little Jonas can't seem to get comfortable. He's a restless soul. Kittens sleep up to 20 hours per day, but not if they can't find a good spot. Jonas tries everything and everywhere, but can't settle down. All this wiggling is keeping his sister, Fabrina, awake too, and she tries to squirm away from him. Now that she's up, little sister Fabrina realizes life's too exciting. There's a whole world outside her bed, and she wants in. She never stops moving, not even for a New York minute. Ikea would like all her kittens to tuck in for the night. They need their beauty rest. If New York is the city that never sleeps, Fabrina and Jonas will fit right in. Back in the city, the three-week-old American curls haven't yet left their bed. And for restless city kitties Jonas and Fabrina, it's time to bust out. They're about to discover they live in a kitty paradise, with cool stuff of all shapes and sizes to climb on. A small apartment looks awfully big when you weigh just 10 ounces, but Fabrina is ready to see every inch of it. The siblings hang back, but soon Jonas gets the itch to explore too. As his first big quest, Jonas decides to scale the living room ottoman. He's willing to step on anyone to get to the top, including Fabrina. Fabrina joins Jonas at the observation deck, and the view is worth the climb. Fabrina wants to get down first, there's lots more to explore. Suddenly alone, Jonas is a bit over his head. How did Fabrina get down so quickly? But with mom watching, 
Jonas tries to be brave and takes a different strategy. Any landing you can walk away from is a good one. While Jonas gets some praise from Mom, Fabrina decides she's not finished exploring. With paws on the ground and eyes on the road, Fabrina is outward bound. That's enough distance for one day. Time to get back to mom. <laughs> 